Designed and produced by the Corellian Engineering Corporation as part of their famous YT series, the YT2400 light freighter was chronologically one of the latest and most advanced models of YT series freighter produced by CEC before the series was ultimately discontinued. The 2400 was designed with the sole intention of maintaining the reliance and versatility of the popular YT1300 while compacting its utilities and features into a smaller frame. At a length of 18.65 metres and a width of 28.5 metres, the distinctive space frame of the YT-2400 is perhaps the most easily identifiable of any CEC vessel. The ship is drastically asymmetrical, with its off-centre cockpit module extended much farther from the hull than in the case of the YT-1300. The ship is designed to be operated by a crew of three, but can easily carry out basic tasks with only a single pilot and computer assistance. The freighter's cargo bay is large enough to house 150 metric tonnes of cargo, and on board living quarters allow the ship to carry up to six passengers for long-haul journeys. Like most YT series freighters, the 2400 is a sturdy and nimble design that is more than capable of defending itself in combat. The ship is armed with two 1D servo turrets loaded with dual laser cannons, each placed to provide a full hemisphere of defensive coverage against strike craft and incoming ordnance. The vessel is also designed to carry a small number of concussion missile launchers and frequently has its weapons arsenal expanded further through illegal modifications by smugglers, pirates and mercenary groups. The Corellian Engineering Corporation was incredibly confident in the design of the YT-2400 before it was released, even going so far as to discontinue the short-lived and extremely popular YT-2000 series in an attempt to boost sales of their newer craft. While consumers were generally very satisfied with the 2400, CEC did encounter some negative feedback, with many customers being dissatisfied with the 2400's small engine array by comparison to the yt 1300s large curved bar engines. This inspired CEC to begin selling modification kits that would allow 2400 pilots to install more conventional cylindrical engines on their craft, though many still preferred the design of the YT-1300. Like almost every class of YT series freighter, the 2400 was incredibly popular within the galaxy's criminal underworld. With very little modification, the vessel becomes as close to a military gunship as the civilian ship market can provide, offering criminal groups an easy way to field sturdy, agile and deadly attack craft that can be used to quickly move illegal cargo, bypass government blockades, and even carry out acts of piracy against larger vessels. The ship also saw extensive service with the Alliance to Restore the Republic, as the Rebellion benefited from the same availability and ease of modification that was so attractive to pirate groups. The mycarpo based rebel cell known as Iron Squadron were based aboard a YT-2400 known as the Sato's Hammer. Following the skirmish over Mycarpo in 2 BBY, the local rebel cell was absorbed into the larger Phoenix cell, where the Sato's Hammer continued to serve in the Alliance fleet. Like many of its contemporaries in the YT series, the 2400 remained ubiquitous in the civilized galaxy long after production had ceased. The ship was considered a prized and reliable vessel even decades after the end of the Galactic Civil War. Even among a line of freighters as popular and well-renowned as the YT series, the 2400 stands out as a unique and dependable design that succeeded in leaving its mark on the history of galactic shipbuilding throughout a long and proud career. Thank you for watching Space Dock. If you're interested in supporting the channel, please do check out the links on the screen right now or in the description below for our Patreon and channel membership services. Anything you can pledge goes towards improving our team and our equipment and allowing us to put together bigger and more exciting video projects for you guys on the channel.